My desires if you walk away I will cry cause I'm not ashamed If you say goodbye girl I'm gonna break I know my heart won't be the same Not a line just to make you stay Using my Time is money And uh, well if you assure me I'm winning Then let's go <laughs> Not a line just to make you stay Right now I'm working on my sophomore album. Um, I dropped my first album in 2014, 14 December. I dropped a double album, and um, it was it was number one on iTunes, the R&B chart on iTunes. And I mean it was it was a good. It had a good review. Um, I won a couple of awards um, from songs from the album, and yeah, it's been good. So right now I'm on to the next my sophomore album. And uh, I'm quite excited because it's going to be a different sound. And uh, I mean, I can't just wait to share my body of work with people out there. I wish you told me there was something wrong. Everyone loves Falasha Day. Falasha Day is like my new single. Falasha Day, oh. Um, I've dropped two singles from the forthcoming album first was um 69 featuring bono boy and ikechuku and um i dropped falasha day this year um it was my first single this year and um, everyone is loving falasha day so i mean I, right now that's like my one of my favorite that's right now that's my favorite song falasha day is a name of a girl okay. um, from the yoruba tribe in nigeria okay. and um it's a song that talks about the vulnerable states of a man in a, in a relationship okay when things are going wrong because it's his fault yes. but he's trying to make amends and trying to make things right and he sincerely is turning a new leaf but it's too late Get out, for us yes i write all my love songs from personal um um place because it's easier for people to connect with you when you write songs from a personal perspective. Let me come in to you. I think my biggest achievement is having a day in um, the United States. Um, I have a day called the Praise I Did Your Day. And um, it's major because even when, even when I'm old and by God's grace I'm old and I die, I mean that day would forever yeah will still that's remain like yeah that's my like my legacy and i mean at this young age um it's it's a big it's a big achievement for me and uh, for me i just feel it was predestined because the day that was given to me was the day my parents got married you know wow. so i mean it's 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 major trust me it's major for me that's my biggest i've won awards i've won awards upon a, upon awards but that is a legacy for me that's my biggest achievement I, wanna lay inside you. I have no regrets because every disappointment or every failure I have um, that has happened to me is just a pathway to take me to where I'm going. So I have no regrets in life. Aside music this year, I would be doing a lot of community service um, in Nigeria. I'm also an ambassador for an NGO called Big Church Foundation. Uh, and this year we'll be empowering 36,000 youths in the whole country. We have 36 states in Nigeria, so um, 1,000 youths in each state. And we'll be empowering, empowering them in the fields of agriculture and mining. To be honest, people I've come in contact with um, I don't think just xenophobic. Um, I have a lot of South African friends who are really friendly, who have helped me in different ways. So I don't think um, also South Africans are um, xenophobic. Um, I just feel people who act in such behavior are just people who are not really enlightened and um, they need to be educated basically and the need to be unified with people who are even not your like are not from your same country basically i mean like i told you i said africa should be a country we should i mean as much as yeah we have countries but 
we need to be one. Ride you like I'm on a highway. I'm gonna love you over and over, lay back. Side to side, knocking sideways. You know you're gonna get it.